I'm almost as bad at Mario Kart as Rich Evans. That's good to know. I should send Rich a message and tell him that he has a, a good race on his hands anytime he wants one. Well, we'll do a little bit of push-mo. Maybe like 10 minutes of push-mo. And then we'll do something else. Thank you for the people that subscribed on Twitch, by the way. I don't, I don't often get a chance to say that, but we have 77 subscribers at the moment, and uh, I, we really appreciate that. Like I said, every streamer gets a little bit of, bit, uh, of that. So, on behalf of them, thank you. It's been a while since we did Pushmo. Infuriated baby noises and baby puzzles. That's what you're you're in for if you haven't seen Pushmo. Get ready for baby puzzles. Here we go. So if you don't know what this game is, it's basically get to the top of the level. That's that's the game. I don't know if I wanted to do that. Okay, where's this go? That, that's not good. Gotta go down this way. Pull this in. Okay. And then we can go back up here. Maybe. Shouldn't have pulled this one out all the way. Fuck. That was a mistake. Oh, wait, no. It's, it's just the way it's gotta be, actually. What if I do this? That's... That is the part that is tricky. I wouldn't have seen that if I did not just notice it by chance. Which I guess could be said about everything in life. But... How am I gonna get up there now? goes like that, and then puzzle solved. Gay babies rescued. Marshmallow Sky approves. Oh shit, like it too. There's a rare picture of Spock smiling from Flying Fettuccine. What's the episode? Someone, someone's gotta know. I know there's people that know Star Trek much better than I do, but what's, what's the episode where Spock is so happy to see uh, Kirk that he, uh, he 
starts smiling. And, like, he's, like, laughing. And then he says something like, It is agreeable to see you again, Captain. I like that episode. That's a good one. A muck time? Which one's that? Isn't that the one where he has the pawn far? And like he just wants to have sex. And they and Kirk and Spock battle to the death. Yeah, I like that one. It is agreeable to see you. That's how Vulcans like um greet each other. Even if your husband and wife if you're a Vulcan, you greet each other that like it's agreeable to see you. That's it. They don't they don't express emotion. That's that's the whole I mean if you know anything about Star Trek, you probably know that, but Have I seen the Dreamcast game called Seaman? Yes, I've seen I've seen that study guy stream Seaman and uh, I I know all about it. It's weird when I'm, like, reading the chat and people are saying, Leonard Nimoy does the voice of Seaman. <laughs> I'm just like, right, that's a video game. Frontal lobes? Oh, God. Don't you get me started about... You don't have the lobes to talk about frontal lobes. Full frontal lobes. <laughs> Did you know that David Letterman voiced Big Butthead, like Butthead Sr. in uh, Beavis and Butthead Do America? There's a little random fact for you. Why do I know this? I don't know. Spock would, would love this game, though, because it's all about logical and gay babies. You gotta be super logic if you're gonna play this game. Puzzle, man. Jesus. Jesus. Ah, uh, I can't figure out exactly what to do here, and and this is this is starting to get kind of uh, kind of annoying, actually. Alright, let's look at this logically. Um... We gotta get... Maybe we gotta get this one... Out somehow, right? Maybe this one? Let's see... Alright, we gotta get this one out and... Do something with this. something out here. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. 
I don't want to see his butt. Um, wait, there's got to be... Go like this. Getting close. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Like that one right there. And then that one comes out. Then that one comes out. Then this one comes out. And then... There we go. Oh, that one, that one was kind of tricky. Uh, we'll do Buzzy Beetle, and then we'll check out the user levels and see what they're up to. Okay, Buzzy Beetle. Bethel. So, you know that giant spider that I posted on Twitter? If anyone didn't see it, there's a giant uh, Cthulhu that likes to make a home outside of my outside of my house, on my side door. Uh, let me see. It's it's huge. It's a really big spider. I call him Alpha Spider. Well, I left it there. I didn't do anything about it. And, um, I told my grandmother about it. And then the next day, she told me that she had already walked into the spider's web at one point. You know, so that's, that's encouraging. That one day, maybe she could, like, bring the spider in. without realizing what she's done. You know, that, that would be so much fun. Just walks into a giant spider web, then suddenly the spider hitches a ride on her hair, lays 10,000 babies in my house. Oh, fucking hell, please. Yeah, no, I, I have I have a degree of arachnophobia. I will not deny that. I, it, it sucks. I mean, I can handle spiders. I can deal with them. I can, you know, if I find one in the house, I'm not, like, freaking out. I'm not dying over a spider, but... God, they're annoying. It's like, you know what? Listen, just, if the spider wants to pay rent, it can live here. But so far, all it's doing is, is leaving moths, like dead moths. That's not good enough, spider. You, you, you can't expect me and you to be friends with the payment of dead moths only. Oh no, by then it's too late. I've, I've seen everything. It's much too late. My Twitter account is just Vinny Vine Sauce. Reg thought I should make it uh, Vine Sucks. It was a consideration. I, I will not deny that I considered that. Do I do this? This is this is an interesting puzzle. I might change it to Vine Sucks one day. I kind of like that.
I think I see what I have to do. Maybe. I think I understand this now. Pull this out one more. See, this this has to be moved in such a way that Puzzle solved. This is a really, this is a really good puzzle game. One second. Okay, um, next, let's check out the uh, user-created levels. Oh, there's the bullet bill that was supposed to save me. World Push Mo Fair, here we go. I'm um, probably going to do one more game after this. I want to think about it. It's going to be a late night game. I'm not going to do Zelda today because I'm starting really late and I don't want people to miss Zelda if they've been... I, I've been streaming Zelda pretty late anyway, but uh, I'll probably try to do Zelda tomorrow a bit earlier so that more people can catch it. The level, the user-created levels are amazing. Seriously, I love this game's custom shit. Okay, here are the best ones. We're gonna do popular. I did, Chick. I saw the Mario 3 hack. I have, um... I have a weird aversion to uh, custom hacks for games because uh, I played a few of them and they're just always so specifically tuned to people that know every detail, every mechanic of the game. And um, for streaming, I don't know how I feel about that because it gets kind of annoying to stream and die over and over and over again. The game looked cool, but 
it looked also like it would be a total pain in the ass. What's this? We've got Pikachu, parkour level. Uh, weird Sonic. Kirby. Yoshi face. Venusaur. Jasmine. Mario bonus 5-7. Pull blocks 12. Pull blocks 9. Captain Olimar. There was a uh, Zelda 2 ROM hack that people were like, oh, you got, you should totally play this vid. You love Zelda 2, you should play it. And then I looked into it, I checked the video out, and it looked like it was the most impossible fucking ROM hack ever. And there was an easy mode added to it, which I heard was still like twice the difficulty of the original Zelda 2. Oh, these levels weren't that great today, actually. I think I did play your levels, Joshua, but I don't remember which levels were yours. It, um, it's the Vine Shroom. It looked cool, but I, I think I'm going to pass on it for now, if I haven't done it already. What's Mysterious Push? Oh, right, these are the different style levels the really weird levels. And what's over here? Is this the uh, title screen? I love that you can walk off the world map into the title screen. Before I take a quick be right back, and before I come back with another game, I am going to check out the shop real quick, see what's new, see if there's anything interesting. Oh, there's the sale going on. Uh, Minish Cap, I have it. Mega Man X, have it, have it, have it, have it. Don't care. I guess that's good for some people. It's not, I'm not totally interested. Steam World Dig I was interested in. The 3DS version. Some people said it was a bit repetitive though, so I avoided it. But it looks it looks cool. Midnight. 926. I'm really excited for Hyrule Warriors. demos, nothing really strikes my fancy. Price drops. Oh, these are the ones that are on sale at the moment from the Nintendo sale that's going on. Anything else, perhaps? <laughs> my Style Studio Hair Salon. No. Love Me Buddies Wonderland. No! Jet Tailfin. Only two people reviewed that game. It's got to be horribly discouraging. Nobunaga's ambition. Bombing bastards. Oh god, Nintendo's getting risky now. They're allowing the word bastard. Swords and Soldiers is pretty good. Swords and, Swords and Soldiers 2, I don't know if that's out yet, but that, that game was pretty good. I'm not really interested in anything at the moment on this Smash Brothers to be determined. Hyrule Warriors is already rated 5 stars, even though it didn't come out yet. I don't know how someone was able to do that. Captain Toad? Yes. Love that Captain fucking Toad. Bayonetta 2. Mario Party 10. And all the other usual shit. Alrighty. That's good enough for me. Hey, Darren. 
All right. I'm done playing baby games for tonight, so I'll be back in a little bit. The usual five minutes or so. And I will figure out what game to play next for you guys. I'm going to think really hard about this. No less than three seconds of thought will be put into this decision. And then you guys can experience something. I'm going to put up uh, Busquets BRB because I like this one a lot. And I'll play you a few songs. Whoa. I'll play a few songs and I'll be right back. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 